I think it's widely accepted that the New England Patriots need to continue their efforts to find top talent and depth at the wide receiver position. The past couple drafts have yielded some promise with Douglas, Booty, Polk, and Baker. In addition, free agency has provided Bourne and Osborne, who are reliable professionals. Yes, we all know the Patriots are on the lookout for their Alpha One receiver. However, the Patriots still need to take shots at finding some of those sleeper or underrated receivers who can turn into another Pop Douglas or Jacoby Myers or Edelman, etc. Those are the guys that really accelerate the roster rebuild and sometimes become Patriots legends. Considering how the passing game is going, yeah, I think the Patriots should be looking for another diamond in the 2025 NFL Draft. I present to you, Nick Nash a wide receiver from San Jose State who is an athletic and versatile playmaker who has transitioned from quarterback to wide receiver with notable success. Standing at 6'1 and weighing 193 pounds, Nash has become a key contributor for the Spartans, using his agility and speed to make plays all over the field. As I mentioned, originally recruited as a quarterback, Nash made the switch to wide receiver during his college career, showcasing his adaptability and football IQ. His background as a quarterback is evident in his tape. He has unique understanding of the passing game, allowing him to run precise routes and read defenses effectively. This guy finds the soft spots and has the instincts needed to be a great developmental wide receiver. Not only is he smart, he's athletic. His athleticism stands out, especially in open space, where speed and quick cuts make him a dangerous threat after the catch. He has a knack for making defenders miss in one-on-one situations and consistently creates separation from defensive backs. His ability to track the ball in the air and make difficult catches is impressive, and he often uses quickness to gain yards after the catch. He's a decent yak guy. And again, as a former quarterback, Nash also brings some added value with his versatility, occasionally being used in trick plays or as a gadget player where his passing ability adds another dimension to the offense. However, Nash is still a relatively raw wide receiver. His route running, while effective, can sometimes lack the polish of a more experienced receiver and he's still working on refining his footwork and technique to become a more complete player. Another thing to make note of is his slender frame, which also raises concerns about handling press coverage. Although he shows flashes of strong play, especially in space where he's hard to bring down, Nash will need to continue developing his consistency and his physicality to make an impact at the NFL level. However, overall, Nash's potential is clear. Thanks to his athleticism, his football IQ and versatility, I think he has all the things needed to progress and become a better wide receiver. And again, he has a unique skill set, and the backgrounds of QB and playmaking ability make him an intriguing prospect. If he continues to develop his route running and add strength to his frame, Nash could become a valuable offensive weapon, particularly in a system that values versatility and creativity, such as the Patriots. Now for his draft stock, it will likely depend on his continued growth this season, which I must note, in four games into the season. He already has 50 receptions for 637 yards and 8 touchdowns. Yes, that stat line has been created in the first four games. So I think he's going to be on every team's board, but ultimately it will come down to how he finishes the season, his health, um, all-star bowl practices, how he looks there, and how he matches up against other top talent. And of course there's going to be a combine and or pro day, so he's got the testing and the field drills to prove that he's worthy of a high draft pick. Now, as of right now, I think Nick has certainly played his way to being an early day three pick. Now for the Patriots, I can see them liking that Nick was a former QB, he has reliable hands, and he appears to be a great stick from a variety of alignments, and still has room to grow. He's definitely a name to keep an eye on as we progress through the college season. So anyway, what do you guys think of Nick? Do you think the Patriots should go after him? If so, when? Let me know in the comment section below. If you guys like this content, please like and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.